Hey, what's going on YouTube? I got a pretty quick video for you guys today. Uh, I'm rebuilding my TBS Discovery Pro after a bit of a uh, core issue. So I figured as long as I have the uh, DJI NASA V1 compass and GPS unit off of everything, I figured, you know what, I'll tear it down. I'll show you guys what's going on on the inside and maybe talk a little bit about how that affects the frequency choices that you have for your video. Now, it uses these specialty, I believe that they're pentalobe screws. They're either, they're either they're pentalobe or they're Torx. Figure it out. That one was a little too small. Let's go to... Let's go to this one. little too big. All right, so it turns out that the screws that they use on here are T4 Torx, and I'm just using this little uh, security bit set that I got on Amazon. So it's pretty easy to get your hands on a driver for these, the internet these days. I think this whole set of 20 or 30 different pieces cost me at like 10 bucks. Very, very inexpensive. So the back cover is held on by four screws. Get this all out of the way. All right, now this should just pop apart. Come on. There it is. All right, cool. So there's the uh, there's the unit. You've got a lot going on in here. You've got your actual GPS receiver. This here's a backup battery, I believe. Uh, this I think that they're using the entire back plate as like a patch antenna. That's what it looks like. Let's see if I can flip it over, pull it out, and take a look at it. Yeah, I don't think I should do that. It's adhered in this thing right here this setup I believe is part of the magnetometer actually because it's a little secondary board now the one thing that I did notice about this is there's no saw filter in here that's gonna be a pretty serious problem for uh, you guys using 1.3 gigahertz for your video because uh, GPS is on 1.5 gigahertz so you're very likely to swamp out uh, your GPS receiver if you're like me and you're running something ridiculous like a watt and a half So I recommend that you guys use a, use a low pass filter or a notch filter uh, On your VTX to prevent interference with your NASA GPS, but Like I said, it's a very simple design. There's not a lot going on in there. If I were you I'd put another little drop of uh, Canopy glue or something in there to protect the wires, but you know, that's all there is to it and these are all SMD uh, Components, so they should be actually very very uh, Easy to service if you guys have like a reflow gun or a really small tip iron But this whole thing because the v2 came out is now Ridiculously inexpensive So if you guys like this video feel free to uh, rate comment subscribe so I can keep making more of them for you and I'll keep working on my gear